Welcome to another Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot Breakdown. The latest Hearthstone mini set, Maw and Disorder, has brought some absolutely insane cards into the game. With crazy effects like the Jailer and familiar faces like Sylvanas returning, let's dive right in and find your best options for climbing the ranked ladder. But first, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be kept up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. Leading off Tier 1, actually the only deck in Tier 1 is Big Beast Hunter. This archetype is much stronger than the rest of the competition, dominating the meta at all ranks. The list aims to curve out and overwhelm your opponent with overstated cards and powerful spells, but if the game happens to go later, the list can adapt and develop large threats to close out the game. Therefore, slower decks such as Curse Warlock are easy matchups because they can't deal with your board presence. Bless Priest, however, can play around your threats via devastating combo turns. Tier 2's much larger than tier 1, six times larger to be exact. So let's take a look. First, we have Imp Warlock. This build of Warlock aims to push damage using early game imps and close the game out with either larger threats such as Imp King Rafam or Curses. The deck stomps all the lists in tier 3 and 4 and goes roughly even against the other tier 2 lists, except for Bless Priest. Anduin's combo can ignore your board and combo you down. The next deck in tier 2 is another Warlock one, with Curse Warlock making an appearance. Unlike the Imp variant, this deck focuses is more on a control and cycle shell, aggressively drawing early and clearing board with spells and looking to end the game via curses. Where Imp Warlock spends early turns playing for board, you spend yours clearing it, so aggressive decks have a hard time against you. But again, and this feels like a little bit of a theme, Bless Priest combo turns can pose a problem for you. Naga Priest takes the third slot in tier 2 as one of the few decks that was not hit with the nerfs. Naga Priest hasn't really changed much since its release, fighting for board with cheap Nagas and buffing them using cards such as Serpent Wig. Naga Priest beats up both variants of Warlock, as you can easily make threats that they can't deal with, but it struggles against Control Shaman. Bless Priest follows its Naga relative on this tier list, and whereas Naga Priest aims to play for tempo, Bless Priest aims to play for combo turns. When piloting this list, look out for Control Shaman. A few freeze or devolve effects can lock you out from the game. Speaking of Control Shaman, that deck takes the last spot in tier 2. This archetype continues to see play despite the previous nerfs it faced, as the new Devolve and Devolve cards allow you to deny and contest your opponent's boards. This deck's wide swath of removal stifles both versions of Priest in tier 2, but Big Beast Hunter's constant pressure, weapon damage, large threats, and even linchpin play and Tavish all pose a big issue. Hearthstone is in a great place right now, and aside from a few trouble cards, the game has felt great as of late. How are you enjoying Hearthstone right now? Are you having a great time or patiently waiting for changes? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Hearthstone content, and we'll see you next time.